Agnes was abandoned by her children and forced to live a hard life. But when she died and her will was read, what she left for them will shock you. Ever since Agnes's children came of age and started earning a living for themselves, she found herself alone. They had moved out of her beautiful home in the suburbs and into the city. They never visited or called to check up on her. Whenever they spoke, it was usually initiated by Agnes herself, and these conversations often felt forced. It seemed like they were always in a hurry to end the cause, making it clear that her cause were a bother to them. As the years went by, her children didn't get any better. They never sent money home, even though they were all earning a decent living and she was struggling with her small pension. So to survive, she decided to rent out a part of the house to Stefan and his cute little family. Stefan and his family were nice people, and from the moment she saw them, she took a liking to them. She loved Missy, the couple's daughter most of all, because how full of life she was. Missy loved to hang around her and always asked Agnes to tell stories from her young days. Agnes could tell that things were tough for the family, so she never bothered them to pay their rent whenever they were late. She knew that Stefan would pay her as soon as they could. He was an honorable man, and he hated being in debt, so he always tried his best to pay no matter how little. Over time, he got a better job and was able to clear his debt. He never owed Agnes again. One day, Agnes's three children visited. This was the first time they were coming in years, and she was shocked to see them. They kept the hugs brief and asked that they speak inside. There was an urgent matter they needed to discuss, and it was extremely private. From their grim expressions, she could see that something was up, and it scared her. She wondered if one of them was ill, or if they had some terrible news to break to her. Once inside, she served them tea and cookies. Wasting no time, they told her they wanted her to come live with them in the city. They said they were uncomfortable with her being all alone in the big house with no other to help. She told them that she was not alone. She told them all about Stefan and his family, but they didn't care. She needed to come with them, so they'd be able to take care of her better. Agnes met this news with mixed feelings. On one hand, she was happy that her kids were finally taking an interest in her and wanted to take care of her. On the other, she was hesitant about leaving the only home she had ever known since she got married to their late father. However, the next thing they said shocked her to the bones. They wanted her to sell the house. They told her she was not coming back, so there was no reason to keep it. She would stay with any one of them and do whatever made her happy. This warmed her soul a lot. She was happy that her children were finally making an effort. She knew just how much she sacrificed so they could be where they were. She could see that they were finally showing appreciation for it. Eventually, she agreed to sell the house and move to the city with them. They were happy about this and urged her to sell it as soon as possible. Her first son offered to sell it on her behalf, but she turned him down. The house meant so much to her, so it was only right she did it herself. When Stefan heard that she was selling it, he offered to buy it from her. He had some savings accumulated over the years, and he was certain he could afford it. This made her happy. She was glad that the house was going to someone who was like family and would take good care of the house. In about a week, everything was finalized. The necessary documents changed hands, and after tearful goodbyes, she got into the car and went with her children to the city. Before leaving, she left her chest of jewelry with Stefan, promising to send for it once she was settled. As they drove, she began to make plans in her head. She asked that they take her to her daughter's house first. They agreed and promised that she was going to be happy. However, her eyes bulged out when she saw where they took her. It was a nursing home. In confusion, she demanded to know what was wrong, and they said she couldn't stay with any of them. They gave flimsy excuses and insisted on why she had to go to the nursing home instead. She realized then that she had been played. Their main focus had never been her, but the house she sold. They took her in and left her there, never to return. Agnes was heartbroken. Her children had lied to her face and stolen from her, leaving her with next to nothing. She cried until her heart ached, but there was nothing else she could do but move on. Sadly though, it was difficult. The nursing home was cheap and most of the staff were unpaid and overworked. The hygiene in the building was poor and the residents were not properly taken care of. Their meals lacked nutritional value 
and the place was always noisy, giving Agnes splitting headaches. She could barely cope. She was suffering and every day was torture. At night, she cried until her pillows were soaked. But there was nothing she could do. She had no money and no house to go to. She was all alone. About a year later, Agnes fell seriously ill. She had a fever and her body ached all over. The staff at the nursing home refused to call a doctor because it was too expensive. She realized that if she stayed there, she was going to die and no one would care. She decided to return to the only place she had ever known to be home, her former house. One morning, she snuck out of the nursing home. She had no money, but she swore that nothing would make her return. She managed to pawn her wristwatch and bought a bus ticket that took her back to her community where she walked the rest of the way to her former house. By the time she knocked on the door, she was weak and almost unconscious. Stefan and his wife were shocked to see her, and in her state, they panicked. They took her straight to the hospital, and she was admitted almost immediately. Sadly, her condition didn't get any better. She was ill for too long without seeing the doctor, and then the arduous journey she undertook only made her condition worse. Her body kept rejecting treatments, and her health kept deteriorating. She was comforted by Stefan and Mira's presence around her, and she was happy that she had gotten to know them. She knew that the end was near for her, and she decided to do one last act before she moved on to the great beyond. She called her lawyer and decided to amend her will. She felt it was due after everything that happened. Stefan and Mira took good care of her. The doctors tried their best to prolong her life, but less than six months after leaving the nursing home, she passed away in her sleep. For Stefan and Mira, this was like losing a family member. For days, Missy cried and kept asking for Agnes to come back. The only consolation they got was in her final days. She had been surrounded by people who loved her and meant her well. Stefan reached out to her children and informed them, but they didn't sound displeased by the news. This broke Stefan's heart, that such a good woman would be saddled with such ungrateful kids. Agnes's will was read the day after the burial. Her children were there, and Stefan and his family were there as well. The lawyer wasted no time in getting to the matter. He announced that Agnes left her chest of jewelry to Stefan and his family. Those pieces of jewelry contained precious stones like diamonds, rubies, and gold, and together, they had a market value of over $500,000. She was leaving it all to them. This news shocked the couple because they couldn't believe Agnes was going to leave them with so much. They still had the chest after she told them to hold it for her. But out of respect, they had never opened it. For her children, all Agnes left for them was the note that the lawyer read out loud for everyone present. They were not getting a penny from her after how they treated her. They fooled her into selling her house and took the money for themselves, then dumped her in a nursing home, not even bothering to make sure it was up to standard. The money they got from the sale of the house was all the inheritance they were getting. The children protested strongly against this. However, the will was clear and there was no disputing it. For a long time, Stefan and Mira could barely speak as they were in shock. They were humbled that Agnes chose to trust them with her jewelry and they swore to use it for good. They decided not to touch it and keep it all for Missy's college education. Agnes lived a simple and happy life and even though her children didn't appreciate her, some people saw her kind heart and loved her for it. And for the rest of their lives, they'd always remember the woman who changed their lives forever. What a touching story. Agnes's children got what they deserved. What would you have done if you were in her shoes? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons. See you in the next video.